Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. That is a 16 by 16 inch by 2 inch gallery rep canvas. And these are my little tools that you can find out how to make them if you search the video that says tools in the, in the search box. Also, I'm contemplating a skewer and a palette knife. These are my regular little swipe tools that I will dip into the Amsterdam Black with cell, active, that's cell activator because it has pre-stained wood conditioner from Minwax. Now the last time I did this, I started with the sides painted, or the each side is, <laughs> was already painted. And this time I'm going to do it for you so you can see just how much paint I use. Assuming that I can find the black, there's the black, that's good. Come off top. I'm not going to worry about that. <laughs> because there's going to be all kinds of colors all over this. This is basically two inches larger than the last time I did this. And I love that painting. It's, um, its file number is 8070 and there's prints of it on Fine Art America and Pixels.com and you can find those links on my link tree, the first blue link underneath the video. This might be a little more paint than I anticipated but it's still a better amount than to pour it on. And I'm going to take my spatula and just move it. And when I have a bead of paint along the edge, not yet, I'm going to push it right up to that other, up to that black and try not to pull any off. Because I like the idea of having the white side white. Even if there's a few little bits of black in there, it's all going to be full of colors very shortly anyway. So just run that along the edge and call that pretty good. I don't want an excess of white because the white will often affect my colors. I'm going to wipe that off. Where am I going to do that? Right over here, I guess. And use my studio rag, which I thought I got nice and damp, but doesn't seem to be as damp as I'd like it to be. So I'm going to do the same thing. My Diagonal is a little crooked and I definitely have a little more paint than I anticipated But it's going to take me fully 10 minutes to put all the colors down Before starting to swipe I'm assuming unless Somehow I can just sprinkle them over which did occur to me and I bet you could even if I can't So I'm going to take that spatula with this I want to put that paint somewhere else. I don't want puddles. I'm about to put puddles on. Try and keep those two separate because one is cell activator and one is not. So let me just turn this. Come on, let go. Please let go. Thank you. So it's actually resting on those so it won't stick to the table. This isn't this is a good one to not have to pick up. I have folk art, turquoise color shifting. And I'm gonna make slightly larger puddles this time than I did last time. And I'm gonna try not to make them equidistant, although I think that's not probably something I'm capable of doing. And if I put a whole bunch of one color out to begin with and it becomes dominant, then so be it. This is the um, Artist Loft Cobalt Blue, which is misnamed as far as I'm concerned because it's totally turquoise. And I really wouldn't mind if one of these turned out to be very turquoise anyway. Because there will be plenty of other colors added to this in a few minutes. I think I have 25 bottles that I made sure were all open and ready to go. And most of them I can remember the name of too, which is pretty amazing, honestly. I'm gonna put these colors over to the side on this side as I use them. This is the electric blue from Arteza. It's a metallic or pearl they may refer to it. I just found out that they have the larger pouches and I ordered four of them. And hopefully I won't run out for a while because they're like $7.99 a piece. I'm not sure how many ounces, but it doesn't matter because I'm thoroughly addicted to this color. So I don't think it matters much what, the put what size the puddles are. 
That is an amethyst, also an artist loft, also a metallic. I could just put areas of different colors instead of putting them so evenly, but <laughs> I'm just going to follow my instincts and uh, try and cover the canvas as soon as I can so we don't have to wait for me forever. I don't know what's going to happen with the edges. I want to put a little tiny bit of Prussian blue in here, and I believe that's a Grumbacher tube paint, and there's no point in putting it into the black side because it's looking very black. I'll get that out of here, and I'll give myself a little bit of a neatest white metallic. I'm not touching this bottom section because I know I'll pull down through it. And I thought about making it just really uneven. I don't think that you need to be as meticulous as I am about how you're putting your colors down. I kind of think you could go with about six colors and still get away with it, but I'm not ready to try it yet. This is my color shifting purple flash from Folk Art. And this could be pretty cool just with purples and turquoises and electric blues for sure. That's what it's looking like to me. Dribbling is, dribbling is forgivable. Just trying to get it done as quickly as possible and it's not a fast process. It's a good thing I have the gift of gab, I guess. <laughs> sometimes yes, sometimes no. Tongue tripping is likely to happen. Well, that's a bunch of really pretty colors and I want to try some of my Venetian blue, which is an iridescent. I don't think I tried it last time, but I'm not sure. I think it's mostly better in the in the white side. I'm going to have to decide what's a good time to stop because I'm really I'm really getting a lot of paint on the canvas. Maybe I will take the smallest tool I can find and dip it and pull it. I haven't put my gold on there yet, but I'm not ready. The gold I put on in the last one, just up and down in rows. That is a fluorescent pink from Folk Art. I believe it may even say it's matte. It was sort of a surprise to me when I read that. I didn't realize it at the time I purchased it. It's a really great color though. And if you can't afford the Hot Orchid, which is probably should be next, then it's a really good substitute for zhuzhing things up. This is the Hot Orchid. And although it's not the same color, like I said, it's a pretty nice color. It's my, one of my two favorites. My favorites are the, um, the Folk Art Purple Flash. I did all of this to begin with. The Folk Art Purple Flash and the Hot Orchid from Color Art. And I know I want some orange in there. So I'm going to ignore a lot of other colors right now, if I can. I think there's nothing in there. Wow. Okay, well there's something in there. It's bubbly. It's not a lot, that's for sure. But it's the little pops of yellow and orange. Go away, bubble. That make all the other colors stand out so well. As you can see, that just added a whole new dynamic to the whole composition. And the gold is just going to be the icing on the cake because it will sell with the cell activator really nicely. I had some red, color shifting red from Folk Art. And that's an alternative. I'm glad there's still room to put colors down because I looks like I've been pretty busy. But uh, I agreed with a bunch of people who saw the other painting and thought it would have been nicer to leave a lot more dots. So that might be part of the plan. We'll just go potentially every other row. And I've got my bright orange, which is a Hobby Lobby Master's Touch brand. And you should check if you do shop at Hobby Lobby because they have a sale that goes on quite frequently for Somebody told me for a week, but I thought it was every other Wednesday. So it behooves you to ask the cashier or call some call a store before you go and find out if 
Master's Touch is on sale because sometimes it's canvases and sometimes it's paint and sometimes it's both of it, I think. But I'm not an expert. I'm just a shopper. All right, what am I missing? I don't have any of this pink and I didn't use any of it last time, but I kind of like the idea of trying it out, especially in the dark side. Ooh, the dark side. <laughs> and maybe a little in the light side too it never hurt anything and I could fill in with some gold I didn't put any yellow in there and I I always regret it when I don't so I'm going to I know that orange that I know this color that is called dairy lid by a few people looks like yellow but not once you put some actual yellow down this is a golden hour which is a metallic from Arteza and I have a darker yellow, and I think I'm going to use some of it too. But the Golden Hour sort of substitutes for gold. I'm going to use a Decor at Americana 24 karat gold. Just sort of filling in where it feels right. And that's my recommendation. Alright, so here's, here's my... Oh, that's my yellow. <laughs> for some reason... I thought I had the 24 karat gold in my hand. Alright, maybe I'm all talked out. Let's do the 24 karat gold and then if I need to add another color I will. So I'm making my rows wider so it will definitely leave some dots in the middle. I'm not sure if looping it around the end is a good idea or not. But we'll find out in a minute, I think. So I want to put a few of these colors away for a moment, if you'll forgive me. I'm making you wait. And I've just knocked part of my tools on the floor, darn. But the reason I'm moving the paint is so I can put the tools down where I can get to them with the cell activator that's in my little dish. I'll get that spatula out of the way. I don't know why it's there anyway. I probably put it down where I could find it and then lost it immediately. Okay, we have some space to work with. And it's time to do it. Where did the white Amsterdam white go? Because I want to put some of that right on a little plate. There we go. And try that. Matter of fact, I might even try that first. I'm going to push it over first. And use my residuals on the edge of the canvas. Now, did I lose my other... Okay, show yourself. I guess if I can't find it, my other little swipe tool, I'm going to use something else so it doesn't matter. Well, that's pretty. I'm going to use the residual black on this side. Go right over. Gonna take the paint right off my little tool just by rubbing along the edge of the canvas, thereby completing that area. I have to find myself, I just put my arm in that clever girl scrape dish. It occurs to me I can always use the opposite side of the same swipe card. swiping some more. I'm going to use that to, to mess with the edge again. I want to keep going. I don't know if I'm going to use any more of these tools. I really wanted to try this. So let's try it with the white. There's the palette knife. I'm 
I'm not sure that works as well as I'd like it to. But it does make a nice line. The dots are mostly becoming keyholes, but that's cool. And I'm definitely not up for wasting any color, so at least the one thing I know is that I can get the palette knife to deliver its residuals to the edge of the canvas in nice stripes. Even more so if I take it off of my finger <laughs> and put it back on. There we go. All right, back to black. I want that gold right up here. I have a break. Where is my break? That's interesting. I hid my break for my turntable on myself. Never mind. I'll just keep going. I'm going to use my residuals to pull right up through. And tap the edge of the card on the edge of the canvas, which is working. And hopefully I'll have enough something in my, left in my scrape dish. I've gotten rid of way too many of my dots. But I suppose there is a possibility I could go back. Let's use up the paint on my card. Like I said, wow. Well, I don't think I'm going to get to finish this, to tell you the truth. Unless I whip right through. And that might be a terrible waste. So I'll do as much as I can. That needed to have the pressure of a finger on it to work really well. And I want some white. Want some white in the black side. Although things are looking pretty good, honestly, I'm, I'm thinking it's not impossible that I could finish. But uh, that's probably asking a lot. And I will wait to finish my edges till later. I'm going to grab some more white. And come up through the black side. I'll do one with more dots, I promise. This is not the one. But it is pretty cool. And the colors are great. And I do have to keep wiping off. So I should tell you guys, I have uh, Legalaris clothing on the link tree, which is the first blue link underneath the video. And under the link tree, you're also going to find my email address should you be interested in inquiring about a lesson at the house in Spring Hill, Florida, or the purchase of an artwork. Purchasing an artwork is possibly the best way to help support the production of videos uh, that I know of because my prices are not insignificant and my collectors appreciate that I keep and maintain my value as best I can. All right, so a little more white, I think. Let's go all the way. No lollipop tree, but this is a good practice for doing a lollipop tree. I have one minute left to tell you guys that I have a monthly drawing that helps pay for my art supplies by donations through PayPal and Patreon. And if you find the to, if you find the icons on the bottom right hand corner of my YouTube channel banner and use them, you'll be included in the monthly drawing. The monthly drawing prizes can be seen on the end screen video in the last 20 seconds that's changed out every month in all videos. I'm going to use my card. Am I? Stop moving. And it will show you what the, the monthly prize drawing winner has to choose from as far as paintings go. I'm going to grab a little more of this and I'm going to try and convince myself that it's time to torch before it might actually be, but hopefully you can see all of that. And I have a pair of tweezers and I can take out that thing that does not belong right there. That's a large thing. I love you guys. I want you to take care of each other, take care of yourself. And if you have questions, please ask me. I have over 2,000 videos. I can hook you up. You say this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. Saying I love you guys, take care of each other, take care of yourselves, bye for now, Priscilla out.